Hi, we're here with... Dell. Dell. What does Dell do? Dell reads comic books. Reads comic books? Yeah. Or yeah. sells comic books? And that too. I read them and sell them. So what is your favorite? Ooh, that's a loaded question. Uh, go back to the beginning, probably Fantastic Four, starting in 1962. One of those classic characters that no one likes today. That's right. That's going to change. I hope so. Oh, it's going to change. taking over the series? It's going to change. Because they're coming back, I think, next month? Yeah. Their new series? Yeah. Ten yeah. issues of the first number one, like they did with every other number one? Really? Marvel's really glutton the mic with That I didn't know. Well, I'll get one of them. Yeah, I will too, to read it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the Fantastic Four. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. They're the one that's where it all starts. Yeah. That's where Marvel Comics starts. Yes. It's Fantastic Four. Some people say it's Spider-Man. Wrong. Fantastic Four was first. So what got you into comics? Uh, I don't. I can I really don't know. But I think. I think. Well, it goes back to childhood, and I think it was the uh, the logos, the different the different logos, and just the, the colors, and then you know that uh, really is the thing that inspired me to learn to read. And my sisters taught me to read, so I could read these things. <laughs> So what was your first comic book then? My first comic book would have been a Mighty Mouse from sometime in the mid-50s, 55, 56, somewhere around there. And uh, I'm looking for it. I'll know it when I see it. You're looking for that elusive unicorn issue. That's right, yeah. Just like Nicholas Cage in Gone in 60 Seconds, his Eleanor. Oh, really? Yes, that was the one car you couldn't steal. Really? Yeah. There's always bad luck with it. (laughs) So... What what made you go into selling comics as a co- uh, from a fan to a collector to a then to a seller? Retirement. Ah. And I have time to do it now. And it's what I, I promised my wife that once I retired that I'd do this. So I'm doing it. So do you enjoy it? I absolutely love it. How does your wife like it? She loves it, especially when I bring home some money. <laughs> but then it disappears when the new issues come out next week. Uh, well, yeah, there's that. Yeah, this actually funds my hobby now. Yes. So it's not costing me any money to support my hobby. Yes. So Unlike I'm, some addictions. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's another thing that got me, too. When I was a kid, comic books were, were a dime. The other kids are buying, buying nickel candy bars. They're making fun of me, you know, for saving these things. Yeah, but you know? they're, they're kind of hard not to want to save because you can go back to them. That's right. That's, that was my rationale even when I was seven, eight years old. When you have nothing to do in the afternoon, you can always go back to your friends. That candy bar's gone in five minutes. Yeah. This lasts a lifetime. Yeah, because I've got issues that I've had as a kid that have been totally wore out. Yeah. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, and it's like you still look at them and go, wow. Yeah. I'm afraid to touch this because it's going to fall apart, but well, you, you still you know, have all the memories of it keeping you company. But you can always go to somebody you know that happens to deal comic books. That might have that particular yeah. thing, so you can upgrade, which I've done several times. I have, too. I think every collector's done that. So do you have anything to say to collectors? Come on down. Get on down here. Go to these go to these Comic-Cons, because there's a world out here, and there's, and there's a lot going on at these places. A lot of comic books, too. Thank you.